Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to another fun creative photography video. In this one, I'm going to show you how I captured images like this. Now, believe it or not, two products were used that you generally wouldn't even find near a camera. One of them is this right here. This is just a sandwich bag, something transparent, and actually this is gonna go around the lens. You can use other things like a Ziploc bag or saran wrap, anything that kind of is a little bit translucent, similar to this. Now the second part of this video, which you will see, is I also got petroleum jello, uh, jello, jelly, aka um, Vaseline, um, and I actually rubbed this around the lens, so to speak, and you guys will see exactly how I did that to get some really cool, unique shots without messing up your lens. So let's go ahead and jump into it and get started. So here you can see I actually used this little sandwich bag and I put it directly over the lens and I tried to keep it pretty tight so that we wouldn't have too many wrinkles on the front of the lens. Here you can see I am uh, just running my fingers around it just to kind of keep that bag tight and remove a lot of the wrinkles. And then once I got it to about a tightness that I liked, I went ahead and put a rubber band around it just so it can kind of uh, stay in place and uh, keep it a little bit tight so we don't get too many wrinkles on the front element of the lens. Now once that was done we are ready to shoot and here's just a quick sample of how that looks. As you can see it gives a really nice soft dreamy look and let's go ahead and shoot some photos. So here I place the model in a position where she is backlit by the sun. This is generally a look that I prefer to have. Um, I think just having a nice rim light along the edge of your model gives a really nice result, which is what allowed me to capture these images here. And here is where the Vaseline comes into play. So I open this up and I put a very small amount on my finger. And now we are just going to rub it around the outer edge of the lens like this. Now, depending on the kind of uh, look that you want, you may want to use a little bit less than I did and uh, get a feel for it and then add more later if you want. But Putting this amount on gives you some really crazy flares just like this. So right here you can see it's giving us some really cool flares and you can see the flares kind of come in and out. That's because I'm using my hand as kind of a lens hood to block some of the light. So here in the images you can see that it does really give a soft halo like look. And if you wanted this a little bit less pronounced, just add a little less to the front of your lens, or if you want it more pronounced, vice versa. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this creative photography video. I know I did. It was actually really fun to just kind of shoot something very, very different using household items that you probably have already laying around the house. If you guys shoot anything similar to this or using any of the techniques in the series that we are doing for you, please let us know. Go ahead and upload it to your ViewBug account so we can go ahead and check them out and enjoy them with the rest of the ViewBug community. With that said, guys, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. It really does help the channel continue to grow, and I will see you all in the next one.